What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Elo Bandit and today I have an excellent idea for a new series. This series is called Community Gimmicks and basically what happens is I take a look at your comments and I build teams based on them and then I'm going to probably ladder with them and record videos um, with the teams that I come up with with you guys. I got a comment on my last video from a guy named Eric F. And he said something that really inspired me for a new gimmick. He says um, he uses a Mega Audino and a Belly Drum Last Resort Munchlax. And I thought that is a really, really interesting setup. Um, belly Drum Last Resort is a crazy combo, especially if you have like proper speed control. So I thought, okay, how can I take this and make it really, really good? And here's what I came up with. So first of all, instead of Munchlax, I chose a Snorlax, and the only reason for that is the fact that it straight up has better stats. Um, I was able to give it um, a huge attack stat, and um, very nice split defenses, and also an even HP number. This is very, very important when you're using a Belly Drum set. Um, the set is Protect, Belly Drum, and Last Resort. Protect is for turn one when you've got your ally using Trick Room. Belly Drum, of course, um, halves your HP and maxes out your attack and then last resort 140 base power fails unless each known move has been used which is just protect and belly drum so basically belly drum if you've got an even hp number which i do since i've got four evs and two hp i will activate gluttony um so when this pokemon has half or less of its max hp it uses certain berries early that includes the galon berry which raises defense by one stage so when i use belly drum I lose half my HP, I max my attack, and I boost my defense up. Um, the Snorlax, um, taking a look at its EVs really quickly, I maxed out the attack and minimized the speed, so it's perfect for a Trick Room. Um, defenses are pretty split. Um, Snorlax has a lot more special defense than defense, that's why I gave it a Ganlon Berry. And, of course, the 4 EVs into HP mean that it... Um, it will go down exactly to half HP, which is very, very important if you want Gluttony to proc. Now, for a starting partner, I really like Aromatisse because of a couple reasons. First of all, it's got Aroma Veil, so neither Aromatisse or Snorlax can be attracted, disabled, Encore, Taunt, etc. None of that can happen, and that is awesome, awesome, awesome for setting up a gimmick like this. Item leftovers, probably Citrus Berry would be fine, probably... A berry that reduced a steel type attack would be totally fine. But I, I like leftovers for now. Um, Trick Room goes straight with Protect. So Trick Room, Protect, turn 1. And then you can use Heal Pulse on turn 2 with a Snorlax. So Belly Drum drops HP to half. Heal Pulse raises it back to full. Yeah? Heal Bell um, cures a Burn, a Paralysis, or a Toxic. And then Moonblast is there um, mostly for Focus Sashes and Sturdies. Since... Um, a, a max attack last resort basically kills everything like it's seriously impressive um, looking at the EVs real quickly maxed out HP kind of split defenses and then the speed is really interesting I did um, 12 minus for a particular reason um, that is how you get it to hit 59 speed which is 1 over Snorlax which means that in a trick room Snorlax will use belly drum before heal pulse is used I do also have an Audino here. The Audino is basically a secondary cleric. It's got the same set, basically. It's Trick Room, Heal Pulse, Magic Coat, and Fire Blast. And the reason for that is Magic Coat bounces back taunts. Um, this could be alternated out for um, Moon Blast would be fine. Wish would be okay. Um, yeah, there's a couple of options. Even, even a Heal Bell. You do have healer, so you've got 30% um, chance of curing um, an ally status. And then Fire Blast is there to hit Steel Types and nothing else. That's the only reason that that's there. Um, of course, minimum speed, maxed out HP, maxed out defense, seems to work out really, really well. I am using Mega Audino here, but if you wanted to use a different Mega for this team, that would also be okay. The last Pokemon that I am sure that works really well with this team is a Crawdont. Crawdont has adaptability, so he hits ridiculously hard with water and dark moves, and he's very slow, perfect for Trick Room. 
Aqua Jet, Crab Hammer, Knock Off, and Protect with a Life Orb means you basically one-shot a lot of things. Um, a Dark type move is really important because Snorlax cannot hit Ghosts, and Aqua Jet is awesome for priority, and Crab Hammer hits stupidly hard. Protect is Protect. You need it in doubles. Goes without saying. To make this gimmick as good as it can get, we gotta talk a lot about team members. So, Snorlax is the main guy. We're probably gonna keep him no matter what, since he's the kingpin of the whole gimmick. Um, I really, really think that Aromatisse is a perfect partner for him. This is UU doubles, and it seems to be just really the best partner. Um, Audino slash Mega Audino is also fantastic, and I love using it as a second cleric. I think that um, having both Aromatisse and Mega Audino on the team gives Snorlax all the support that he needs, and I think that um, it's more than enough. Um, Crawdont is an absolutely fantastic revenge killer, works great in a trick room, has amazing power with his adaptability, um, hits ghosts, no complaints with Crawdont. I think he's absolutely perfect for this team. Now, other options are Arcanine. Arcanine um, can run a bulky set with Intimidate, Snarl, Will-O-Wisp, um, he can really lower, he can, he can do a great job lowering opponent's stats, making them do less to Snorlax. Um, overall, a great supportive Pokemon that can also dish out some damage with, uh, Flare Blitz, Extreme Speed, that kind of thing. Um, Sneasel, okay, so Weavile is OU, um, Sneasel is, I think, a decent option. You can use, um, because you don't always have Trick Room up, and when you don't, you need a Fast Mon sometimes. So Sneasel's got Fake Out, um, you can fling a King's Rock for two flinches. Um, sometimes that's what you really need if um, you've got a Pokemon that can take out someone in one hit. Um, double flinch, he's got priority, a uh, very strong knockoff for ghost types again. So Sneasel, I think, is a decent option for a partner. Um, Trevenant has several endearing features. He's got Will-O-Wisp to make it so that um, physical attackers can't threaten Snorlax as much. He's got Skill Swap, maybe you could give Snorlax Harvest, get more berries, um, boost defense even further, that might be a decent option. Um, Trevenant also has, of course, stuff like Shadow Claw to hit other ghost types, and um, Leech Seed for staying power. He doesn't have any way to heal Snorlax, but I think he still makes a decent partner. He can also trick an item onto the now itemless Snorlax, so if you wanted to give him like leftovers, or um, another berry, or a citrus berry, or a um, even even like a choice band, like um, Trevenant definitely has a lot of cool options to go with uh, Snorlax. And lastly, I think Deoxy's attack is a really interesting option because it's so fast, it hits so ridiculously hard. If there's a significant threat to Snorlax, um, Deoxy's A can take it out immediately. Um, it's frail, very frail, so it will go down um, probably just about as soon as it comes out, but it can usually do its job, and that's what it's for. So I think all of these are pretty decent options. I would love, love, love to hear what you guys think would be good team options. Um, right now, I'm going to go ahead and play just some replays to see how good just Aromatisse and Snorlax are by themselves. Um, hopefully it'll get you a little bit excited about this gimmick. I think this can totally go far, and I would love to hear all of your input on it.
suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating Kryptonite desire set my heart afire Now that you've got a taste of this gimmick, I would love to hear what you would do with it. Would you set up screens with Klefki, guard split with Shuckle, fake out will wisp with Sableye? Would you give it an item like Leftovers, a Choice Band, or Silk Scarf for an Assault Vest after it's used as Gallonberry? Um, would you skill swap a useful ability so that um, Gluttony is no longer useful so you could actually give it something that it can use? Um, would you use like a, a Scavalier for a Trick Room type coverage or like a camera up or something? Uh, maybe a Lipard or a Murkrow for um, a dark type prankster that can hit ghosts. Uh, maybe like something, a Rotom Heat that can kill steals. I would love to read any and all comments related to this. I want to make this as good as it can possibly be. And I am super, super excited for the first episode of this to be successful. I have really high hopes for this gimmick and I would love to make some more videos with it. Do some laddering uh, based on your suggestions and... Just have a good time actually interacting with you guys for once. Um, I love making you guys happy. I love putting out videos that you enjoy. So I think this is a good way to do that.